Mmm, that hits. Wow. Ooh, come see. Hey, it's Shelly Wellness here. Welcome to The Mindful Plate. Today, we are going to be making a salted caramel. But this salted caramel doesn't have the white sugar and the butter and the cream because some of you have changed your diet and you just can't have all that. So we're gonna be using whole foods, food from nature that you can take in, digest well, and still enjoy as if it's the sweet treat that it is. Hey, I'm your host, Shelly Wellness. I'm on this journey to elevate our consciousness around food, and I invite you to join me. On this channel, I'll share recipes created with mindfulness, rooted in wellness. Welcome to The Mindful Plate. So this salted caramel uses nothing but whole foods. First, we're gonna add some dates. Everything goes in a blender, so you don't have to stand over a pot and melt butter and burn sugar and all those things. We're gonna start with some dates. Now, these dates have been soaking. You want your dates to be soft. So we're adding in some dates there. And then I'm gonna be using coconut nectar. You could use honey as well, but I'm gonna be using coconut nectar. We're gonna add in some almond butter. We're gonna add in some melted coconut oil. We're gonna add in some vanilla powder and a little bit of salt, Himalayan pink salt. Now in here, I have my reserve water from soaking my dates. If this feels too thick, then I'll be using some of this. So make sure if you're using this recipe at home that you keep some of the water reserved so you can get it to the exact consistency that you want. If you're like me, then you've had to change your diet because you've had some health issues. And I know for some of you, you have a sweet tooth. <laughs> and it's challenging when the doctor says, oh, well, you can't eat that anymore. And you're like, well, dang, what am I supposed to eat? This is one of these recipes that really does bring back to life all that sweetness that you enjoyed without the side effects of white sugar. So I'm gonna let this blend. And while this is blending, I wanna invite you to something. So while our sauce is blending, I just wanna take the time to invite you to something. I know for some of you, it has been very, very challenging having to switch your diet. You're not exactly sure what to eat you're feeling a little lost, you're also feeling a little wanty because you miss all the things that you used to love to eat, but the doctor said you can't have it anymore, or better yet, your body said you can't have it anymore. Well, over at the School for Mindful Nutrition, I teach a course called The Detox. And a detox is a course that is designed for people just like you who have been struggling with their diet, know they have to make some changes, but don't know where to start. And oftentimes, the start is the detox. It's detoxing out of your system all the things that have been plaguing your body over the years, causing you to feel levels of dis-ease, discomfort, causing you to feel like you're not fully yourself in your body, like you're not fully present, like something is weighing you down. It might show up as extra weight on the scale. It might show up as like fogginess in your brain. It might show up as a literally a dis-ease, an organ, a kidney, a lung, a, a liver that isn't functioning at its highest. So in the detox, people come and they learn how to eat again, but this time with mindfulness. It's not about being vegan or being keto or any of that stuff. Forget the labels. It's about eating what's best for your individual makeup. And you as a human being has your own code of what it is that you should be eating. And in the detox course, you discover that. Not only do we detox your body and your food, but we also detox the emotions behind why you eat. If you're an emotional eater, and especially if you're an emotional eater and you love sweets, this course is for you. How do you think I came up with this recipe? Because I went through the detox myself and I learned that I am not about to give up sweets, but I am gonna give up white sugar because it is literally taxing my body. The way it's probably taxing yours. So if this speaks to you, I invite you to go over to the School for Mindful Nutrition. The website is linked below. And uh, let's get back into this caramel. I'll see you over there. So it's been blending and it's definitely gotten a lot thicker. Ooh, come see. So I wanna check and see if I wanna change the consistency. So when it gets like this, ooh, this is definitely very scoopable, but I think I want something a bit more pourable. Let me give it a try. Wow. 
that's nice. So I'm gonna start the blend. I'm just gonna stream in a little bit of that soaked liquid that was left over from the bake. And remember, as you're blending, make sure you clean off the side so that all your ingredients are being blended and nothing is stuck to the container. We don't wanna waste any of the goodness. If you like a caramelly taste and you also like almond butter, this blends both of them beautifully. And this will go well, you could just have this like dip your fruit in it. If you have brownies, you could spread this on top of your brownies. If you've made my avocado brownies and you already know, this will work amazing for that. But y'all, remember, just because you're dealing with some health challenges and you have to change your diet, does not mean that it has to be boring. I say that in every video and I mean it. As long as you're cooking with mindfulness in mind, you're gonna be good. Now, if you want the recipe for this, you already know. Click the link in the description, join the newsletter, and I will be in your inbox every Tuesday with more recipes just like this. Until next time, you all, eat well and be well.